Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to lesson five of Mastering Avid Media Composer's Keyboard Shortcuts. Uh, my name is Josh Short from Edit Video Faster, and this lesson is on modes, trimming, and slipping. Uh, and, and in Mastering Avid Media Composer's Keyboard Shortcuts, if you haven't seen uh, the other lessons, uh, uh, each lesson we tackle a handful of shortcuts, uh, explain what the shortcut is on the keyboard, and I show you uh, what it does in Media Composer itself. So we're here in Media Composer, and uh, this lesson is on is on modes, trimming, and slipping. And there are two modes that have keyboard shortcuts in Avid Media Composer, and that uh, and those two modes are Source Record Mode and Trim Mode. And by default, you pretty much are are mostly editing in Source Record Mode. Um, and uh, that keyboard shortcut is going to be the Y key. And when I hit the Y key nothing really happens. That's because I'm already in source record mode. Uh, so we'll rewind back to this one in a second. Uh, when I hit the U key, that's going to jump me into trim mode. And you can kind of see the difference uh, before my uh, time position indicator is right here. Uh, and when I hit the U key, it jumps to the nearest uh, edit point uh, where there are tracks selected. Uh, and you can see we're in trim mode by these double purple rollers and our um, source and record monitors change. And actually, um, this is the clip on the left side and this is the clip on the right side here. And um, to get out of trim mode, we can hit the U key again, or we can hit the Y key to get back into source record mode. Um, so when we're in trim mode, let's go back, uh, hit that U key, and we're in, uh, we're in trim mode now. Uh, you can see we have these uh, two, uh, we, they're called rollers, uh, the double purple rollers. And uh, when, when they're purple, it's uh, non-destructive. Um, so if there's still source material on this left clip, the A clip, uh, and there's source material on the right clip, the B clip, uh, I can drag that this back and forth, this edit point, and it changes, um, you know, what's in the timeline. And I can I can drag it out as far as it'll let me. So, um, you know, that's as far to the left of that clip as I can go. And I'll just hit uh, Command Z to undo that. Okay, so that's when we're in trim mode again. We got hit the U key double purple rollers. All right, there's some more, actually a bunch more uh, keyboard shortcuts for trim mode. Uh, so first, if we hit the P key, now uh, it's a single yellow roller on the A side, and this is called trim A side. Um, so when I hit that P key, instead of those two double purple rollers, I now have a single yellow roller on that A side clip. And now when I drag that, it's actually going to push everything down on the timeline. Um, and make sure to check out the other tutorial on uh, locks versus unlock tracks, um, wh which was in uh, a previous lesson, three or four. I don't know, I'll link it below and at the end of this video. Um, make sure to check that out. Uh, it kind of explains a little bit more about what's going on um, when I'm trimming here. Um, so on the trim A side, I got this yellow roller and then uh, it's only affecting the A side. And if I hit the right bracket key, now it's going to just be trim B side. And now when I roll this left or right, um, I'm only affecting, whoop. Okay. Uh, and you can see when I messed up there, it's because I clicked on this side. Um, and then when I started to roll, I was affecting the A side clip. That's why I actually always use the keyboard shortcuts we're about to go over next, because using the mouse and trimming, it's a little clunky. So I hit that right bracket key, now I'm B side um, trimming, and when I click and drag, I'm just affecting the B side of that clip. And uh, the last of these trim A side, trim B side um, keyboard shortcuts is the left bracket key. When I hit that left bracket key, I get back to my double purple rollers. Okay, um, so that was uh, hit the P key, trim A side, hit the right bracket key, hit the uh, trim B side, and hit the left bracket key, that's trim A and B side, the double purple rollers. Okay, so now when I'm in trim mode, um, instead of clicking and dragging, um, that's a little clunky like you just saw, I just messed that up, I hit the wrong uh, side when I was clicking. Uh, you can use um, the keyboard shortcuts uh, M, comma, period, and slash, and that's going to move our time decision indicator and our, our, our rollers either to the left or to the right. So if I hit the M key, it's going to go backwards uh, either 10 frames per second if I'm in 30 frames per second, or eight frames per second uh, if I'm in 24 frames per second. So if I hit the M key, you can see uh, it jumped back 
10 frames. Hit the M key again, jump back 10 frames. If I hit the comma key, the one next to the M key, it's going to go back one frame. And that's no matter what uh, uh, frames per second that you're in. So hit the comma key, and I'm gonna keep going back by one frame. And move on down the line. If I hit the period key, I'm going to move forward by a frame. Okay, hit it a whole bunch, move forward by a whole bunch. Uh, and if I hit the slash key, the one next to the period key, that's going to jump me forward 10 frames per second if I'm in 30 frames per second, or eight frames per second if I'm in 24 frames per second. Okay, um, so that is the M, the comma, the period, and the slash key while you're in trim mode. Okay, let's get out of trim mode. Remember to do that, you hit the U key again, or hit the Y key to get back to source record mode. Time out, coffee. We're gonna go back to those keys in just one second, but first there's two more trimming uh, keyboard shortcuts I want you to know, and that is um, go to next edit and go to previous edit. So if uh, those are the gonna be the S and the A key. So if I hit the S key, um, let's put my time position indicator here, I'm not over an edit point or anything. Uh, if I hit the S key, it's going to jump me into trim mode and move me uh, forward to the next edit point. Um, and then that can repeat as many times as I hit S, keeping me in trim mode. Um, and the opposite, if I hit the A key, that's going to uh, be go to previous edit. So I hit the A key, it's going to jump me backwards in trim mode. Um, uh, to the previous edit point. Uh, hit the U key again to get out of there and we're back in source record mode. Okay, so slipping. That was modes and trimming. Now we're moving on to slipping. And we need to be very, very careful uh, when we're gonna use these keys uh, when we're in source record mode. So let's rewind back to the uh, M key, the comma key, the period, and the slash key. When we're in source record mode, you need to be very, very careful uh, not to hit these keys um, on accident. Um, so let me show you. So we're here, we have this clip, guy, girl, at a computer. Um, and if I hit the M key, it's going to slip this forward 10 frames, uh, or eight frames if you're in 24 frames per second. And the, uh, the clip itself in the timeline, it didn't move. Uh, the footage moved. So the footage slipped while staying still in the timeline. Uh, so we hit the M key again, it's going to move forward 10 frames, M key again, forward 10 frames. Same thing happens with the comma, instead of it's going to move forward by one frame, move forward by one frame, you can see, see they're slowly moving. All right, if I hit the period key, it's going to roll backwards by a frame. So I'm hitting it repeatedly right now. Hit the uh, slash key, it's going to move backwards by 10 frames or eight frames. Um, so, and that's going to happen uh, no matter which, uh, that's going to happen if you have multiple tracks selected. So if I'm over here, um, I have V2 and let's say A3 selected. Uh, and if I hit the uh, M key, you can see that uh, the waveforms on A3 moved as well as the clip in V2. And if I had these tracks on A3 and A4 synced up, because they're, they're music tracks, that's going to knock them out of sync with each other. So you need to be very careful about which tracks you have selected when you're doing this, um, because it's a little, um, I would say it's actually a little counterintuitive hitting the M key and the comma key to move the clip forward and the period key and the slash key to move it backwards. In my mind, that works you know, counterintuitive. So just in general, when you're in source record mode, uh, maybe avoid these keys. Um, instead, uh, you don't wanna accidentally hit them because that will knock you out of sync. That will change your, your shot by a frame or 10 frames or eight frames or whatever. Um, and you may not even notice it till you're further along in your edit and you don't know why your audio is not matching anymore or whatever. So um, that's kind of my um, jumping on my soapbox right now and, and saying be very, very careful when you're using these keys. Okay, I think that about wraps it up for this lesson of Mastering Avid Media Composer's Keyboard Shortcuts. Uh, make sure to check out that previous lesson on Locked vs. Unlocked Tracks. I think it's really helpful, um, especially for trimming, just so you can understand kind of globally what's happening in your timeline. Um, so please keep watching. Uh, I hope you check out episode 6 of Mastering Avid Media Composer's Keyboard Shortcuts. Uh, make sure to uh, check out the website, editvideofaster.com. Um, if you're over on YouTube, there's a full lesson uh, for this one, Lesson 5 
over on the website. I'll link it down below. Um, go to it. I got everything written out with like screenshots and all that stuff. So uh, until then, uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks.